In this lecture, we're going to have a closer look to what is Ethereum, what are dApps, and what is the DAO. If you open up the Ethereum website on ethereum.org, we see a nice summary. First, let's have a look at what are dApps. Dapps are distributed applications. Instead of having an app running on one server and another app connecting to this, we have the app running on every server, on every node. In the next sections, we will learn how we can program these steps and deploy these steps on the blockchain. They are running in something called an Ethereum virtual machine, and there are several high-level languages available, for example, Solidity. They are compiling to something that looks very similar to Assembler. There are several opcodes, and those opcodes are running directly on the EVM in the blockchain. There's also an official wallet called MIST. In this wallet, you can create accounts, you can deploy contracts, or you can add already deployed contracts and interact with them. Solidity is one of the high level languages available where you can program your Ethereum dApps in it. It is by far the most advanced and widely used language available. There are also other implementations. We will look through them in the next lectures. If you're running dApps, those dApps are directly running on the blockchain. There is no single entity which could take these dApps offline. One of the biggest use cases for dApps is everything where money is involved. If your app is running on the blockchain, it is certain that not a government or anything else can take it down or alter the code. Once it's deployed, it's deployed and can only be altered when the logic in your code dictates so. For example, you can start a crowdfunding campaign on the blockchain and the code and the money resides directly on the blockchain. There is no single entity in between. This was also the idea behind the DAO. The DAO is a virtual organization where members can vote on certain issues. It's transparent and is based on the shareholders voting. Once the code is deployed on the blockchain, it cannot be changed. So it's like a country with an unchangeable constitution and it's all deployed in the code. There are already many great projects out there. One of the sites that lists those projects is Ethercasts. You can reach it when you go to dabs.ethercast.com. There is also a lot of command line tools available. One of the most famous clients is written in Go and is called Go Ethereum or simply Geth. In the next lectures, we will download and use Go Ethereum a lot. There are also a lot of resources and a great community behind Ethereum. Besides this site and the blog, you could also go to Reddit and ask questions. There's a huge amount of people active on Stack Exchange. You can go to meetups or you can go to conventions like the DEF CON 2, which is currently in Shanghai.